meeting. Uh, the reason why uh, we call this meeting is because we were talking about an investment and purchase options in a hundred acre project, which is coming up after Shadnagar. Uh, this basically, uh, they have a, a permission letter for Delhi Public School from the actual original Delhi Public School. Uh, they have a, a permission letter for uh, starting the school in 30 acres. It's going to be a one of a kind project. And uh, uh, while discussing about that project, we decided uh, why not have a township around it. So we added uh, a multi-speciality hospital, uh, a villa plotting, and an apartment complex also along with that. So just wanted to share the location and the project details. Everything is in the initial stages. So the for the first round of investments, uh, prior to that, Murli, can you elaborate where the exact location is? Absolutely. I'll just share the screen. I'll share. This is the second bit from the Bangalore Highway. This is the Bangalore Highway where there is a company here. Beyond that, this is the location where Delhi Public School approval is given. Okay. So from here, uh, NNR uh, is one who is doing the project. And in this area, they have around eight projects running. So, okay. so here 30 acres is already acquired by the company. The rest 70 acres is what we want to acquire through uh, the investing mode. So if you're talking about the distance this is from Kachiboli flyover, uh, this comes to a little over 70 kilometers. So you're crossing Shadnagar and from Shadnagar you're coming here. The nearest uh, railway station to this uh, will be uh, Rangareti Guda. Rangareti Goda railway station is about 2.5 kilometers from here. In the are, we, are we crossing the Burgula toll? Yeah, we are crossing Burgula big time. We are crossing almost 13 kilometers after oh, that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, ideally speaking, uh, any project uh, which is started around a school or a hospital, usually that becomes the beginning of a township. And from there, the township actually develops and the entire area becomes a premium project. But in here, what we are trying to do is, initially we are looking more in terms of the investors so that the investors benefit from the first round of investments as well. So in here, at currently the market rate in this uh, road-facing bits, it's close to around 2 CR. Uh, when we go inside, it's around 1.5 CR. If we go inside further, uh, probably a little inside where NNR Dreamscape One project is there, if you are going that side, the prices come a little lesser than that also. You, you will see uh, 70 lakhs, 80 lakhs as well. So for this investments in this area, for all the investors or buyers, we are giving security of land at 50 lakhs per acre. You can also choose to go for half acre. 50 lakhs per acre is what we are giving. And in case you are going in for uh, one year, you'll get 50% ROI. If you're going for two years, it's 200% per ROI. So you might, uh, the first question any investor will have is, it's fine. Okay, you're giving me half the market value. Uh, tomorrow, if you don't pay me, I will sell the land. But how are you going to pay me back? That is the first question that any investor would have to any developer. In this case, uh, the school which is already approved, which is coming in 30 acres in Madhak district, this is going to be the first school. This will be the first one in this area, uh, close to around 50 kilometer radius. This will be the only international school which will be the future going forward. So if we are planning a township around that school, what we feel is that we will be adding a lot of value to the project itself. How the project is going to be? Total 100 acres out of which 30 acres is definitely for the school only. And after that, we have villa plots, we have apartments, we have a multi-speciality hospital with a helipad. The reason why I'm stressing on the helipad part is there can be a chance that within five years, this place may not be as developed as Gachapoli today. We It might take 10 years for it to reach to a stage of Gachapoli. You know, the city is shifting with uh, the AAA coming up with the bullet trains coming up, with so many things, the city is expanding, yes. But at what rate, we will never know. It will always depend on a lot of other factors, uh, political factors as well. So if we do not see any huge advancements also, we still want people in that 100 acres to be comfortable staying there 
without having to worry about medical facilities or educational facilities or how the family is security wise so that is the reason we are saying uh, multi specialty hospital with any bad you'll have uh, clubhouses separate for the villa plots and separate for the apartments we uh, you, i'll i'll share a video with you uh, just to give you an idea as to how we want this project to be uh, not necessary that this is how it's going to be delivered but then this is what we plan to do Let's have a look once So this organic farming that we are talking about, uh, this is the Delhi public school, uh, beside which there is land. This is the part that we have already spoken, and this is the part that we haven't spoken yet. This part will be for community farming, where we will have solar panels and cultivation for the project. For this 100 acres, this will be the food crop, and power generation also will be done there. Not necessary that we are not using public services. It's just that this will be one of the options that we have. Nothing more to that. School definitely is on the 30 uh, acre campus. It will have uh, all the facilities, including staff quarters. It's going to be a residential area kind of a daily public school setup with emphasis on sports. So that is going to be the USP for this Delhi public school. So beyond that, what we are planning is the project wise, we want to have, uh, this is the school building, uh, how it's going to be just uh, a 3D model of it. <clears throat> so this is how the layout is going to be. Uh, in the layout, if you can actually see, this is a school part. This is the area where uh, we're planning the villa plots. And this is the area where we're planning the apartment uh, parts. Clubhouse will be towards the lake, which is on the other side. This will have a separate uh, apartment complex will be next to uh, the multi-specialty hospital with the helipad is what we're thinking. The Bhuvan project that we were seeing earlier, it will have connection from here. And the school will have connection to the highway. This will be going to the second bit. It's about 600 to 700 meters from the highway is where the school will start off with. So you'll have both two entrances for this particular project. You'll enter from the residential side or through the school. That is how uh, it's been designed. The roads are already there. Uh, the other side, there is a BT road. In this right, uh, we have the highway from highway 700 meters. It's a mud road where we'll have to develop the road further from there. So this is typically how the apartment project is what we're planning to. But please understand this is only the first stage. This is what we are proposing. And there could be changes, but this is how we want. We want the villa plots to be as premium as possible. We want the apartment project to be as premium as possible for people to be able to come and live there. We are not looking at just an investment option. We're looking at a township where people would feel comfortable to come and stay. This is the clubhouse that we're planning near the lake. This is how the main entrance road uh, next to the school and uh, uh, which is connecting to the villa plots. The 100 feet road is going to be. And from there, we have uh, binary divisions in the roads. And as far as the villas are concerned, we are still debating whether we will have a backyard uh, garden where we are talking about a food crop help with the team itself, or we are talking about a community garden. So when we're talking about a community garden, in the case of eventuality, we want this gated community, be this 100 acres to be a secured uh, gated community where we can close off our doors and say, still we can sustain life inside the community without having to go outside. So that is the whole idea on which this is based on, uh, where you have food crop, where you have uh, power generation, you have a school, 
you have a hospital, you have entertainment, you have clubhouse, you the playgrounds, talk about anything. You talk about your family, you staying, your workplace, uh, everything in the clubhouses. You will also have rooms where you can work from home concept. You can use those rooms for that. So a lot of factors are being put into it. A lot of uh, things that we think will add value to the project. Even your ideas are welcome. Uh, we, from our end also, we are trying to develop the project in such a way that sustainability from this project becomes a top priority and people should be comfortable to come and live in. We are not looking at, I'm stressing on this particular point second time also, is because we are looking at people coming and staying in there rather than only the investment part. So that is the reason a lot of thought is going into this budget. We've been discussing about this for two months now, only post which we came into the market. You know, uh, I planned this meeting a couple of times before as well. So after that uh, is when we are now we are coming forward and trying to discuss this further. Uh, highlights, it's already mentioned uh, for the project. As far as the developer is concerned, I've given the complete details of the developer, uh, his previous projects, most of them at Kartal only, Kartal when we are talking. These are all different, different projects which are surrounding this 100 acres. So once this 100 acres happens, everything will be under one umbrella, under one developer. So that's one good part there. Can you scroll up funds? Sure. This is all the projects which are already uh, done by the dollar person. Okay. On the top. Can you scroll up even a bit further? Okay. Uh, the project details. Okay. So, in terms of the investment and purchase options, as I said, uh, as of now, minimum investment will be 25 lakhs. Uh, the same, uh, this 25 lakhs, you will be registered with half acre land with an MOU as well. This MOU, you can go for one year, you can go for two years, or this MOU can be a purchase MOU as well. Once it is developed, how many square yards is what you're looking at. So, we are saying 20,000 per square yard as of now. But then again, uh, it's up to the investor and the developer at the time uh, because we do not see a lot of purchases happening right now because uh, for anyone who's investing money, they will want to see some or the other thing coming up there before they want to invest. So as of now, we are only focusing on the investors for the first round of funding uh, wherein uh, the land which is one CR to one and a half CR you are getting it for 50 lakhs only. That is the only USP in terms of today where the project starts. You can definitely verify the letter, sanction letter for the from Delhi Public School before you make the investment. You can check the land records before you make the... We'll ensure that we give you a complete legal opinion of the land that is being registered in your land, in your name. And post that, on the date of registration, you'll pay the 90%. Initially, you'll only pay 10%. And rest everything you'll pay at 90% at the time of registration only. So we're just trying to be as secure as possible with this investment as possible. Because end of the day, even if there is a scare in the market that developers are not standing up to the word, developers are moving away from what it's supposed to be. Even if that happens, we will still ensure that things go well by reselling the land that is already in your name and ensuring that your ROI and your principal is safeguarded. That's where clean need comes in. We will register land, whatever registrations happen through us, we will ensure that everything is in one group and the whole land will have road access to it. And we will ensure that if things go wrong tomorrow, for whatever the reasons, we will ensure that your investment is safeguarded and so is your return on investment. Just in place that. So, as we were seeing, this is typically the layout, uh, which you saw in the video as well. This is the highway. This is the second bed. This is about 700 meters. There is another BT road already, which is still here, till this project, which is a Bhuvan project. From here, again, we have a 60 feet road, which is coming into the project. So, this entrance will be 100 feet and this entrance will be 60 feet. The layout can change. 
definitely uh, to safeguard uh, the square yards which are coming up in the project we have uh, put the hospital here we put the apartment here but then this is subject to change if required to amplify or increase the visibility and uh, the approachability of this project the layout changes might be there the school will not change because this is approved by delhi public school this has to be there it cannot change this part can change this this shape if probably we are also trying to acquire this land we might make it 150 acres going forward uh, trying to mix up this part if it happens good if it doesn't happen it's a different story but as of now we are targeting 100 acres as a overall so uh, so do we have any clean deed format for the investors uh in terms of the mou yes we have yeah uh, can, can, can you share the yeah yeah i'll share that mou so basically this is a format which we follow for almost all the projects that we have handled so far all the investment on roi projects for the past 2 years we've been doing it right from the time when we started seeing the slump in the market people were hesitant to make sales purchases so then we came up with this uh, concept wherein we are taking at 50% market value we are funding the developer developer is happy because he is able to push the project and we are happy because we know our investments are safe because we are buying it at uh, half the price tomorrow if the developer fails we know how to get a money back so that's the only thing uh, we have been working on and we've been successful so far the same format that we have uh i'll share the format that we've been following for the past 2 years it's very simple you purchase the land land registration will be in your name even if you check dharani or uh, you will be the actual owner of the land to safeguard the interest of the developer who is paying 50% from his pocket and taking 50% from you but to safeguard the interest of the developer we have this mou in place which is on 100 rupees stamp paper which says that for this period you will not have any rights on reselling the property but the developer will have rights on developing the property after this period is over there is a grace period for 3 months wherein the investor gets 1% in those 3 months only where there is a delay you will still get 1% interest and if the developer doesn't comply uh, returning the roi and principal in that 3 months also you have complete rights to resell so is this uh, uh, an nnr institution is the firm that we are talking about who will take care of this or yes sir nnr institutions uh, nnr institutions is registered in two ways one is nnr infra one is nnr dreamscape so nnr dreamscape and nnr infra both are the same company under two umbrellas one looks at investment wing while other is looking at the educational part of it so nnr uh, institutions is one on which they got the permission for delhi public school and they work on a nnr different label they work for the real estate so we have approached them and uh, pitched the idea of a complete township uh, in 100 acres in that area you know this area is pretty approachable uh, we have seen uh, villa projects kicking off almost 100 kilometers away from hyderabad as well Uh, as long as the facilities are given well as long as the amenities are well as long as uh, livability is a factor if we can promote in the project projects have always been a success so we thought why not try this because they have already done a villa project they have done a very good job uh, with matrix uh, within 300 uh, square yards plot uh, but the construction is only 70 square yards uh, g plus 1 Uh, they did a pretty good job like a weekend home kind of a thing so they are more into uh, trying new things which are environment friendly that's uh, if you go through their website or if you go through their uh, videos you'll get an idea as to how they want to promote uh, environment into the projects in terms of the real estate so that was we were pretty impressed with what they wanted to do and we thought we can work with them for this project as well so yeah modli uh, so i have a question here so is the is this project entirely depending on a delhi public school that's it right we are like framing the you, township around the school yes that's it so i said not unlike uh, us and europe in india do you really expect a school to be starting first 
then the livability or the infrastructure development will start later is that concept viable in india because so viable in there india employment opportunities nearby see uh, in hyderabad forget india i'll i'll just talk about hyderabad uh, what we have seen is people talk about employment opportunities and then living there uh, for example scz scz kollur we don't see scz kollur yet but today prices of kollur are as close as that of narsinghi or gachuli so here what i understood is it's more of a mindset of the investor rather than the actual livability factor there so you you go to telapur there are villas which are costing 15 cr there are villas costing 5 cr in narsinghi as well so why people are buying for 15 cr in telapur is just that investor decided that that is the best place for him to put his money in. It's as simple as that. So leaving aside the sentiment factor of the investor, what I am seeing here is if we create a township where whatever comforts that you look for in any place that you want to live in, if I can create it anywhere, people would still be okay to go and join. Delhi Public School, we are running everything around it is because for any person who is going to office, the first thing that comes onto his mind is family security. If he's working from home, it's a different thing. But if he's going to office, first thing he will think is, is my family secure at home? So that is the reason why gated communities have come up. That is the reason why uh, clubhouses within the communities have started. Then we started adding immunities to it. So in the past five years, we've seen a lot of change putting in everything together in one place rather than we going to those places. There were times when there was a mall and we used to travel some kilometers to go to that mall. There was a time when there is a school, the school bus used to come and take us to the school. But these days people prefer to reduce the time for the family to reach their amenities and they prefer to travel if required. So that shift of thought is something which we have seen in the last five years only, not before that. So I am just banking on nothing more to it. I am just banking on the fact that today, a regular employee who goes to office is only looking at first factor is his family security. Second factor is if I am putting in one rupee, how much I am going to get back. So this project will take care of the both. So, in coming to the employment, I was specifically asking mm -hmm, about. Mm -hmm. So, nearby that area, is there any employment opportunities? So, if I have to quote, I I can quote Pharma City, which is nearby. I can quote uh, uh, different other companies which are nearby, but that is definitely not a factor, because as an investor, you will look at okay, there is this Pharma City coming up, so this uh, around three thousand people will be working there. So they need places to stay. So that is how real estate prices work in Hyderabad. But an educated investor will not see those things. An educated investor will always see the fact that where would you want to live? If there is a livability factor in the place, you know for a fact the prices will go up. I'll give you a very simple example. In Shankarpali, there are so many projects. You know for a fact there are projects where you can get a villa for one CR. At the same time, you know, there are projects which you cannot get a villa even for 10 CR. Same square yards, same immunities. It's just that the developer is different. His thought process is different. The project outlook overall is different. So that is the only thing I'm banking on here. I'm not going to take out certain names and say, okay, this employment is going to come up. This is how it's going to grow. I'm not talking about all those things. I'm only banking on Delhi Public School and the amenities that we are going to create around the Delhi Public School to create a livable space. Hey, Murli. So, uh, is, this, is this school uh, residential? Or this school is, is residential as well. College? Yes, sir. It is residential as well. So, you mean to say that you are banking only on the school and the families which are, uh, which are planning to uh, send their kids to the school? Uh, are the residents or the prospective residents who can come here? Not really. So that... See, what happens is Delhi Public School is mostly Delhi Public Schools that we see in Hyderabad are all uh, non-residential, basically day schools. <clears throat> so uh, that uh, that is how the real estate around those schools 
or a, a hospital for that matter they increase because the factor of uh, convenience for the family is there so in here i am only creating value for this land based on this delhi public school which actually is a residential school as such so we are not banking on the school part a lot around the school we are creating an immunity around the school we are creating a township where we are creating value for the land it, we are not choosing a land which is already got value if, uh, if let's say for example i am proposing the same project uh, let's say in shankarpal uh, definitely uh, when i say half acre i would have to ask you to invest at least 7.5 to 8 cr minimum for uh, land like shankarpal in here i am able to talk about in lakhs i am talking about 25 lakhs for half acre because it is far off this land as of now has no value this land as of now it's only 1.5 to 2 cr per acre so if you reverse calculate it it comes to around 3000 to 4000 max per square yard if i'm going for a ddcp approval i'll add 2000 to it for uh, developments probably 6000 7000 at the best nothing more to it but i am adding value to this project by creating a project which is viable livable and it is not immediate it will take at least 5 to 6 years for this to be developed and no project will give you a 30 acre campus for a school and a 100 feet road in it and then give you a plot with it people may talk about club houses people may talk about swimming pools but not 30% for an educational facility inside your project so it's as simple as that we this land as of now has no value sir as i said it's only no, 1 and 1/2 to 2 cr i get it but one more thing i had in my mind you are talking about multi speciality hospitals yes sir so are you going to develop it or you go, are you just facilitating it like we are going to only facilitate it <clears throat> you are facilitating it okay but multi speciality hospitals as a, to my idea the recent establishments are costing on paper somewhere more than 1200 crores yes sir so uh, but then to run a multi speciality hospital if i uh, if i may take the big names mm-hmm. uh, they are running into losses even after these these kind of investments true true it was the lack of footfall and the lack of uh, what do you say the infrastructure or the publicity Correct. or marketing stuff like that Correct. but when you are planning a multi specialty hospital in a, in a place which where you are expecting a probable uh, livability mm-hmm. will it uh, i don't think so the balance is survived there and See, the cash flows we are not it. asking uh, for any multi specialty hospital uh, first mm-hmm. thing uh, that they would look at is the approach Uh, the population around it which would actually be their end customers and then uh, what at what price are they, apart from the equipments apart from the technical part uh, we are talking about the re- reality part wherein we are talking about the land and the building so uh, as the developer as per our uh, discussions what we decided is we will give them the facility free of cost to run when we have the people in the project ready so that becomes a viable project for them simple we are we are taking more than 50% of the cost away from their budget so for any specialty hospital if i am giving him patients if i am giving him a continuous flow on a daily basis where i am showing so n number of families around and at the same time giving him the facility free of cost on lease so that he can run his super specialty hospital it is not something which they would want to say no to it is an option for them so <clears throat> get it get it so coming to the investment part you are saying 25 lakhs is the uh, ticket size uh-huh. and uh, we need to uh, so the land will be registered in the buyer's name this is what i assume right this is what correct. you told us yeah. correct correct so later what is the step 2 of that later uh, what are we binded to because you are uh, you are risking your portion of land uh, by registering to us mm-hmm. so what is the next step like do we See, need to do uh, the mou or the mou you will okay uh, the mou will be for one year or two years term whichever one you want to choose for people who are going for one year 
evidently uh, after one year you will be selling your land to another investor people who are mm -hmm. investing for two years they will be giving the land back to the developer because it will take at least two years for these things to come together for the land acquisition to be uh, in place and then uh, we start developments in the project so it will take at least two years for the whole thing to start rolling so the first one year uh, investors they will be eventually giving up their uh, develop land to an another investor probably who is buying at a higher rate and you will be getting your principal and roi back and you'll be quitting the project people who are investing for one year and above these guys uh, sorry two years and above these investors will actually see developments then they can actually choose to stay back as a purchase a person wherein so many square yards will be registered in your name in the developed project mm -hmm. or you quit the project by getting your principal and roi back okay. so mm, yeah so basically you need to say you mean to say that the same exercise will be run again for another new investor after a year after a year yes that of yes. 50% Yes, the cost will differ. As of now, we are only giving uh, a half acre for twenty five lakhs. Probably within a year, we will talk about fifty lakhs. That's all. So, how about we said we have procured one acre land from you, mm -hmm. and uh, can we sell it to other person? You will not be able to sell it to anyone else. That is why we have the MOU in place. Either you can right. give it back to the so developer. So the validity of MOU is, for example, we go with a commitment of one year, hmm. and instantly after the one year, which is after three sixty sixth day, uh -huh. the MOU will be terminated, right? And then the I can sell it to somebody. MOU will be terminated ninety days post three sixty five days. So then, but, specific, yeah, uh, it's three sixty five days as one year, and then we have a grace of three months. so immediately after one year is done developer will arrange your principal and roi buy the land back from you or arrange another investor to buy the land from you by paying the principal and roi either of these two things will happen if both of these things don't happen in the next 3 months you can resell the land to anyone else so what happens is the land that you are buying at 25 lakhs today whatever the price is let's say uh, half acre as of today 75 let's say there is no increase in the pricing so after uh, one year developer is not responding to you or whatever you will just wait make a call to me i will try to see how things are and uh, what it is if the so developer is not respond so you are facilitating uh, the developer or you are a part of a developer now i am are facilitating the developer sir i i will be a part of developer after i can pull the funds into the project probably i'll become a project partner as well so you are not part of, today, of you are not part of nnr investments i am not part of nnr investments yet i am uh, i am from clean deed so this is okay. what we facilitate uh, in projects from the past uh, we've been in business for the past 7 years this investments on rois on this model uh, 50% for one year and 100% for uh, two years is what we've been doing for past two years Okay, so you are from. So one more thing, you said the the the, the land uh, clean deed comes in uh, as a as a source where the investors are secured uh, mm -hmm. as a group, and yes. that those guys will be having a road access to the land parcel yes. which way which they buy, right? Correct. So yeah, that sounds good. But uh, if I being an individual investor, if mm -hmm. I come in and invest some fifty lakhs per se, okay. So even I'll be getting a portion of that land uh, of the road, or 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 just I'll be the parcel of the total group. Uh, let me explain. Let if, me explain. If sir. the agreement is null and void after fifteen months or so, as you mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. if I want to exit at sixteen month, uh -huh. so no one will buy my land if it is not boundary. Absolutely. Or, See, so, uh, let me explain that. This is a school. Uh, so the first round of investments probably. we will be getting registrations done in this part only okay so this is a rectangle let's say i am going with the first round of investments so all the members who are making purchase i will ensure that all the registrations happen in this block only so let's say after one year developer for whatever reasons decided that he is not to he is not going ahead with the project 
so it becomes my responsibility to get your principal and roi back so what i will do is i will pitch a project to this section of people only this probably let's say is only 10 acres but this 10 acres project i will give options to uh, people who have already invested either we do a layoff or you can sell and exit so let's say you decided to sell and exit another person wanted to go for a layoff five people decided to exit five people decided to stay in the project so i will get buyers for those five people within 30 days get your roi closed within the grace period that is there as per our mou and do the project there let's say all 10 decided to exit i'll just resell the land ensure that your principal and roi are coming in and close the mou then and there itself so beyond 15th month you will either have money in your hand your principal and roi or you will be part of a project which is already kicked off either of these two oh, yeah got it so uh, what is the status of uh, land acquisition so far done out of the 100 acres out of 100 acres this 30 acres is acquired uh, okay. and this 100 acres token amounts have been given that is the only reason we have this particular shape which has come up token amounts are given in this 100 acres but uh, mm-hmm. not the advances or we haven't gone beyond that because it's a huge parcel of land and the amount is high that's the reason we started uh, the first round of investments at this low cost uh, after the first round of investments we plan to go to all the continents get as many investors as possible and push the project forward so even the video that you see is pretty elementary for now things as and when uh, we have more people coming in as and when the project uh, catches speed as in when uh, things will be more materialized you'll start seeing 3d models of uh, okay. clubs and all that. so it's all the uh, ongoing process yeah okay okay uh, uh, what what are the other options which delhi public school has looked into like the other land options the different sites but i am interested to know why they have opted for this particular location this location why see uh one the uh, in almost the 50 km radius international school towards the medak side there is no international school number one the viability factor of this school is main usp is sports academy being a part of it and environment friendly studies so the curriculum also is going to be different from other delhi public schools so if i have to pitch in there is a complete uh, presentation in the project itself uh, how Uh, the Le- Delhi Public School is going to be there. So uh, I can share that video uh, to you uh, here. I guess I've just put the screenshots. So in here you will see all the facilities for the school and why it's going to be a USP uh, going forward because most of the schools they concentrate on studies a lot and not so much on the other part on the dollar uh, development uh, part of the child. so that's how they got the approval for this because they were more focused on the environmental part of it the environmental studies sports academy and stuff like that so i think that will be a complete uh, zoom meeting all together to discuss about the delhi public schools yeah, yeah. Right. thank you anything else murli uh just wanted to share the location basically sir as of now and the idea and the pricing uh if you have any questions uh i'll be very happy to answer